Hey, what's up everybody? The Destroyer here, and welcome back to another cast of Battle Familiar 2, patch 1.08. Today we have a 3v3 on Rune, which is not something I expected to find on the replay forums, so that's nice. I had to dig back to February to find this game, so uh, hopefully it's good. Otherwise it's just pure on Ford's of Eisen 2 and Udun games, which I will be casting more of, of course, but nice to have a little change. So here we have a game between the Recon Clan and the EOL Clan. I'm not sure what EOL stands for, but I'm sure it's something awesome. We have Recon Zelenos as the elves right there in the middle. We have his partner, Recon Hallett, as the goblins in the bottom right. And the top right, we have their final player, Recon Star. And the opposing team, of course, the EOL Clan. We have EOL El Senorito. I do know all their full names because it's on the, the forum. So I'll just be saying it once at least. EOL Erdematos as the dwarves, and the final player is EOL Achilleon. I think that's how you say it. It's either Achilleon or Echilion. Maybe it's Echilion. That sounds better. <laughs> we'll go with Echilion. All right, and he is what I didn't even look goblins. All right, good. So yeah, we have a goblin. A dwarf Mordor, Goblin Dwarf Mordor versus Dwarf Elf and Goblin. So hopefully this is interesting. We immediately got some Goblin Warriors being brought out from Hallett to begin uh, getting rid of this forward tunnel here from a uh, <laughs> How did I say I was going to pronounce that again? Echthilion. Echthilion will lose his builder here, which is an unfortunate loss. It's a nice pickup for Hallett there. And Hallett will immediately begin capturing the signal fire of the out or the, the flag of the outpost rather. Bringing out more goblins to uh, engage down here. Goblins probably the only one in combat yet. Of course they do have the forward mines. The dwarves could as well, but it doesn't look like they are quite so far forward. We can start opting to go for some phalanxes to get rid of the troll, to get the gold and the power points, etc. For him there. And Senorito getting a forward tunnel here. Possibly grab this outpost, but it looks like the dwarves will be pushing in before he gets a chance to do that. Oh, wait. What? Oh, that's an orc pit, not a tunnel. Jesus. <laughs> it looked like a tunnel to me for some reason. That was a Mordor orc pit. So he was trying to make a forward orc, orc pit there. He does have some Easterlings in his base. Do need to get some more of those? Looks like Hallett has gone for Goblin by the Bat Cloud. Mordor, of course, always going for the Eye. Usually, Mordor always goes for the Eye of Sauron as a power. It's a mobile buff, which is always nice. Hallett going for a forward Goblin Cave. Kind of defending the outpost here. Nice call there. It looks like Verdimatos building a forward mine down here to help out his partner, Xilion. Goblin. Goblin do have a uh, archers there. Attacking the troll, but keeping him at a distance so he doesn't actually uh, smack in the face. We do have some elves from Zelenos down here to help his partner on the bottom as well. Looks like it'll be two on two kind of on the bottom, and then the top will be one on one, more or less. As far as I can gist of this. The dwarves will be chasing off Mordor. Dwarves do have the advantage here as they are a bit stronger unit wise. Easterlings aren't bad, though. But I think Guardians will cut through Easterlings pretty easily, of course. Some Guardians in the center here as well. There's also a forward Orc Pit. Not building anything as of yet. But mostly the battles are engaging in the bottom here. And it's become Zelenos and Hallet are going at it here against uh, Demetos and Achilleon. Philion bringing in some spider riders. Unless those are from the other team, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Nope. Of course not. They are engaging the troll though, which is not ideal. Spider riders, of course, are not good against trolls at all. So he manages to kill the troll off with the archers though, finally. And that gets a nice run through on uh, Zelenos' uh, warrior archers there. What they're called for a second. There's some goblins in the tunnel here as well. Of course, they're not going to do much good. They'll die immediately to the spider riders, so he does not bring them out. Going over here to pick off this. 
these are actually level 5 already. And of course, in patch 1.08, you can go up to 10, I believe. So, that's a thing. What's happening over here? Looks like the dwarves are attacking Mordor a bit. His phalanx is hard picked off, but Gloin actually. Oh no, this is a. Our Demontos is Gloin. So, sending it to aid his Mordor teammate up here. Senorito, of course. He's gone for a fell beast. I should help defend. Fortunately, there is a Gloin on his fortress. So he will need to deal with Gloin very quickly. Of course, the dwarves do have a forward mine here, so we can star in a nice position here. He's surrounding the base in mine shaft, so he always has access to this base. I think uh, Senorito might be in a bit of trouble here. There's lots of guardians on his fortress. Of course, that's not what you want. Sounds like one of the Gloins does go down there. Her Demontos' Gloin is still there, so that means uh, Star's Gloin is dead. I think he'll be able to defend here, though, with the help of Gloin and the Fell Beast. Let's go back down to the south. Actually, let's go in the center here for a second. Lots of orcs for El Senorito. To expand, they are only 50, so they're very easily spinnable. Of course, in support of the Spider Riders, they will chase off the Dwarven Builder there. Now there is a very large amount of dwarves here. Of course, these are Demetoses. There is a Haldir here as well. He will need to get out of there, though. He's dying to this King Dane quite easily. King Dane continuing to cut down these uh, Lorian archers here from Exel Zelenos. I think it's Zelenos. If it's like Xena. <laughs> when you say Xena, it'd be Zelenos. Pronounced with a Z, even though it's an X. Cape Troll running around here. Looks like Cape Troll and Goblin King coming up for uh, Recon Hallet. And it'll begin pushing across. Although, doesn't really want to engage this entire army with just uh, the Goblin King, I'd imagine. It's Goblin King's getting a bit too deep there. Not sure what he's doing. That may have been a mistake there. Fortunately, the troll is there with a stick ready to crack some skulls, and he will save the Goblin King quite easily. And he's bringing more guys in. There's lots of action all across the map. Looks like the dwarves here. Exilion, or, or Dreamitos is in their attack here. Rico Star. He does actually get taken out. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. He actually keep kept pushing his forward mind network down next to uh, Dreamitos and actually took him out. So that is a big blow to the EOL plan. Of course, they will have one player short than they had before. Always a disadvantage. There is no situation where that is not a disadvantage. Unless you just have a crappy teammate feeding power points somehow to the enemy without getting anything in return. I suppose that might be a downside. Generally, troops are just... The more troops on the field for your team, the better. As far as I'm concerned. Barricade expansion being thrown up there. Trying to defend some. This troll pushing his way forward, though. Yeah, things are looking pretty bleak for the left side of the map team, I'd say. Looks like some hop summon hobbits brought in here. You could use the file of Galadriel if we want to scare off these orcs. They are not quite level 5, so they have fear resist, of course. We will have to manage to take down this mine shaft up here from Recon Star, though. So at least Senorito will get that. He does also have the outpost. But what he does have is a dead teammate, so. I think it is only a matter of time before EOL uh, team is going to fall to the Recon Clan here. I see. You'll notice a lot of the games I cast are from the Recon Clan. Mainly because they're the only ones putting up uh, replays on the forum, so... I have no problem with that, really, personally. But that is the reason why. This Goblin King is very low life. He doesn't be careful. Of course, his teammate Zelen is here with a lot of Lancers, which is nice. Wreck Exilion's base here. The spell beast will not be enough to actually deal with all this. It will help though. There's a troll from Hallet. Systematics Cave Troll. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Ooh, Drogoth out for a uh, Exilion. Looking to a. Uh, 
uh, strengthen the air superiority they have on their team. Both of them have flying units. We'll see Nurito and Ixilion. More troops moving in from Zelenos. It seems uh, the dwarves are pushing in as well on Senorito. So Star is going to do a bit of damage here. He does have some guardians, but one guardian is probably not going to be enough to do too much. Axelor is, of course, there are as well, so they can do some damage. We begin hitting the guys in the flanks here. It's fireball from Grogoth. Grogoth's taking no damage so far. Zelenus will be forced to retreat with his remaining archers behind this archer tower. We do have a cave troll here from Thelion. I wonder why it says systematic cave troll. I mean, he like made I mean, It looks awful similar to the old one. Well, fine. Probably some patch 1.08 thing, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, Goblin's fortifying the position here. On Hallet, it'll be hard to get out of here now that he has a Goblin Cave right in front. Of course, we do have this uh, tower being built as well. It's increasingly more difficult. Although Drogoth will a great deal there. Got some battle wagons out for Income Star. Somebody's cast Darkness. Gonzalanos, the elf, has Arrow Volley Rally Call and nine power points. Philly on the goblin on the bottom left is scavenger. He's the one who used the darkness, which gives a 50% damage, 33% armor, and 50% experience faster gain. Of course, he does have team as well. Two power points remaining. Gun Hallet, goblin player, has key bats to nine power points, almost 10. Senorito has untamed allegiance, barricade, and ISR. Maybe that's how he got a. The systematic cave troll, that's maybe what the cave troll layer one is called when you use some team allegiance on it. That's my guess at least. And Recon Star, the dwarf player, has some hobbits back in that, and there you go. Looks like the left team has been defeated. So yeah, fairly quicker game, but still pretty good through for 3v3. I'd say the Recon team earned that victory there. They did quite well. And hopefully it was enjoyable to watch, and I will see you in the next cast of Patch 1.08 for Battle for Nintendo 2. I will see you next time.